Hey everyone, so finally I am doing Captain America Series 1 by Toy Biz, Marvel Legend. So I'm going to do a quick little 360. And then we'll check out the details. Alright guys, so Captain America does come with the base. I was, uh, I feel bad, I was unable to find it. It's basically, it's a um, top of a tank that's kind of been battered and torn and all shot up. And then it's got um, kind of like a brick building behind it, the best up window with all these bullet holes for the top. I'm sure you guys have seen it. Um, and then it comes with also, also an uh, American flag. So if I if I find it, I'll do I'll do a little showing if you guys want to see it. Otherwise, I'm just gonna go over the figure. Um, so he does have an awesome head sculpt for being series one. These are from night from 2002. I think his head sculpt looks great. It's got a nice flesh tone. The mask is sculpted. I mean, even the A is sculpted uh, on the top there and nicely painted. I like the wings how they stick out. You get the showing of his ears there. Is that a good little facial expression? Go around the back. Very cool. And the other thing that's neat too is on his chest here. Hopefully you guys can see he's got um, kind of like, it looks like dots. But it's almost like a decal uh, placed over the top. It's not sculpted to kind of get that uh, chainmail type look. Let me see if I can get it to focus. So you can kind of see it there. It almost looks like a decal because I've seen other friends uh, figures and other videos of this figure where it looks like it's flaking off on corners. But you can kind of see it over the top. It's really pretty cool looking actually. It works well. Kind of gives it that illusion of being sculpted. You can see it along his back here. But he's got a nice uh, white star painted right there. He's got the white star on the front of the chest. And then coming down it continues and it goes into the white paint on his elbow. And it's got the nice red gloves. There, and then on his chest here, you can see got some scuffs there, but you can see the uh, white and red in the middle of the stomach area. But I really like that um, that look of the chain mail. I think it looks really cool. He's got a nice black belt there. There's not really any texturing, but it's got a nice black paint with a silver uh, belt buckle, and it wraps all the way around. And his shield looks good. It's nice and big. And it's all nicely sculpted also. You can kind of see the lining's all sculpted. Uh, same thing with the star. The star actually, uh, you can see it's kind of protruding out, which is cool. It's nicely painted. It's kind of a little banged up. <laughs> um, and his, uh, the old shield actually just had these elastic bands. I can show you guys real quick. So it's got the clip just like uh, today's where you can fold it down or up. And it's got these elastic bands, so if you want to have it on his back, it's just kind of, you just slide these bands around the side here, and you kind of just pull it around. And there you go. Now he's got it on his back. It looks good from behind, from the front. I mean, it looks like backpack straps to me. So it's not, you know, it's good for the time. <laughs> I know I say that a lot, but uh, it looks kind of goofy uh, straight on. So let me get this off. Okay, so with the shield off, and it just kind of continues down. It's just kind of more of a matte uh, light blue on the pants, and it goes into the boots there. Not any like there's no black wash or anything. It's just a nice uh, red, but still, it's really cool. <laughs> So going over the uh, articulation, so his head just kind of, it's on a ball joint on the top here, so you can get some rotation there. Um, but his neck's also on a joint, so you can see it rotating with it. So he can't really, looking down, he looks down about that much, but it kind of wants to go back up. Looking up, it's not too much, so it's a little harder. Uh, he's got ball joints in the shoulders, they move out, forward and back. He's got an upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, he's got rotation at the glove. Got the hinge at the wrist. Uh, then he's got the finger or hand clamp articulation. Uh, it's got rotation up here along with, he can kind of rock back and forth. He also has a waist uh, swivel there. He can kick forward about that much. He can do the splits, which is cool. He's got the upper thigh sw uh, swivel, double jointed knees, boot rotation, ankles move down, they move up. He's got the nice uh, ankle rocker there. See the old school ankle rocker <laughs> and toe articulation and also peggles the bottom of his feet. So being from 2001, he's got a ton of articulation, really. I mean, 
this guy is over 10 years old and he has a great amount of articulation. All right, I'll show you guys how tall Series 1 Captain America is. All right, guys, the so Series 1 Captain America stands just a tidbit right at six inches, a little bit over. So nice six inch figure. Uh, the other thing is, uh, ah, lost my wording. It'll come back to me. So here's, uh, here he is next to face off Captain America. So you can see we're on the same height. Here he is with the Marvel Now Captain America. And our current Onslaught series Captain America. Look at that shield difference. It's amazing how small that shield really is and how wide that white stripe is. And then here he is next to our uh, Ultron, Age of Ultron Captain America. So you see they all fit in scale really. The newest one seems to be uh, the taller cap. So you can see it right there. I think he's even taller than, yeah, he's the tallest one we have so far. But he's a great uh, classic Captain America and he's not terribly too much money. So if you're a big Captain America fan, he's definitely worth getting, I think. And he, he holds up to the time. I mean, for being a 2001 or 2002 figure, He's definitely held up. He's got great articulation, not the craziest amounts of paint detailing, but he's overall, he's a good figure. My only downfall is, you know, because he is old, he is gonna be loose. Uh, mine, the waist is really loose. Not super loose to where he falls over or anything. Like he hasn't fallen over on my shelf, but it is definitely, the whole poses, but, but he is definitely loose right there. But there you go, guys. I hope this review was good that you, uh, I forgot your name that's, that requested it. I'm really sorry. Um, but I hope you liked it. I hope I did enough comparisons that you like. Um, if there's anything that I was missing that you wanted to see him next to a different figure, please leave a comment. I'll definitely do a quick little, you know, two minute video showing next to him. Just let me know. Ah, enough of my rambling. All right, guys, have a great night. And I hope you liked it. Hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. All right, thanks guys. Take care.